Hello, my name is Dr. Marble. I am uh, here to address another question. Is, uh, what about my sensitive feet? Is there something that I can do about my sensitive feet? And it's an interesting question. Over the past 10, 20 years, there's been a wide variety of opinions and conjecture as to what it is that causes sensitive feet or what you can do or what, how you should run or, you know, there's lots of things that can contribute to whether you have sensitive feet or not. The issue that we're dealing with here uh, fundamentally is that we, all of us, are have surfaces like concrete or pavement that we need to walk on day in or day out. Uh, in your office building, you may have a thin layer of carpet over what? Concrete. Uh, at If you are a teacher and you're at school or if you're a, a healthcare worker in the hospital, there's a thin layer of tile or laminate over what? Concrete. And so, you even go to Walmart nowadays, and that's all they don't even try to hide it, right? It's right there. It's just concrete that you're walking on. So, what that means then is that we've had to try to, as human beings, adapt to that. I see patients time and time again coming into the office because they have uh, been wearing a shoe that has not had enough shock absorption to it. And as a result, uh, they that shock absorption ends up going directly into the foot and ankle. Uh, they end up developing things like inflammation in the heel, plantar fasciitis, uh, not to mention if they already have a predispos predisposition for arthritis, then that shock absorption is going into those joints and it worsens the, the inflammation that are developing in their joints too. And so <clears throat> having a, a good quality shoe uh, is something that we have to do nowadays. We, we, we just have to, um, otherwise you will suffer. Uh, what ends up happening though, the bottoms of the feet, by you having wearing a good quality shoe, something with good shock absorption, you end up then um, not being in contact with rough surfaces anymore. Uh, not, not uh, you know, about 50, 100 years ago, there we were wearing more of the moccasins or like no shock absorption, no midsole at all. Like, you know, like the Nikes have air, Asics have gel. Uh, those types of midsoles have only come into vogue here within the past 30, 50 years. And so um, what would happen then is that you, couldn't, you wouldn't have heard of anybody that had sensitive feet uh, back in those days uh, because they would be walking on dirt or you know, having a very thin layer of, of a midsole, um, but because they didn't have concrete or pavement to deal with. And so their sensitivity, essentially their feet had become desensitized. And they, could, and they would develop very thick uh, calluses. And they would, those calluses uh, the, would extend over the entire course of the foot. And so th if they uh, stepped on a, a small pebble, or if they got something in their shoe, uh, then they could walk around with that in there for a little period of time until uh, they had to dump it out. And really it didn't take very long, it doesn't take very long now, especially with all of the midsoles that we have to, that we have in our shoes, uh, for us to be, you know, we recognize right away if there's something that's in there. And the, that is a sensitization that's occurred just by the virtue of the fact that we have to wear good quality shoes with midsoles. So um, there are People that I see, patients that come in and they want to do barefoot running, uh, they want to do our minimalist shoes, um, those you have to, you, you may not be the right person to wear those. Uh, it's, you, may, you may also have to build up to using them. Don't try and go barefoot the whole entire day in your minimalist shoe. Uh, you gotta ease into that and, may, and listen to your body. If your body's not willing to, <laughs> If it's reacting and it's become, there's inflammation that's occurring, then you're going to have to go back to a more improved midsole, like again, like the air or the gel or the absorbethane, whatever is in that midsole or whichever shoe that you're buying. So I hope that helps. And uh, please like us on Facebook. Uh, also, we'd love to have you uh, comment on this video. And we appreciate any comments that you have for us.